All right. So I really, I, you know, you know, I like a lot of electronic music. Okay. So, and I love going to concerts and seeing the lasers and all that. And I still have it at home. Actually, it was a little tiny. It was a, um, it was a, it was a laser that would project images on the wall and it would move and the images would change based off the beat of the music. Now, if you threw smoke into the mix, it created those beams like you'd see like at a Pink Floyd laser light show. Okay, well, I was poor. It was the dark years, right? The juice for the smoke machines was relatively cheap. The smoke machines themselves were expensive, but because I was a clever lad, I realized that really all the smoke machine, uh, machine was was essentially a cooker that had a fan attached to it. So I found out that if you throw a little bit of fog juice into a pot on the stove, turn it up and put a fan behind it, you could essentially achieve the same effect. So <laughs> I ended up, and I had a small apartment, right? So I smoked my apartment with fake smoke and turned on my laser light and put on my favorite electronic band and just, you know, enjoyed the atmosphere. It was cool. It totally worked. Had full lasers in my apartment, you know. It was I just it was it was awesome. Right up until the smoke subsided. And I realized that that thick substance in the air needed to go somewhere and it ended up coating everything in my apartment with this layer of gunk that you could not believe including myself I everything was just covered in this thick goo from the Oh, it was awful oh, there's a reason why I call it the dark years okay <laughs> now kids don't don't try this at home don't don't, don't, just, don't do that. That's take a lesson from your from your Uncle John. Don't try to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I know.